Hi, I'm Laura from TechSoup, and I'm excited to help you learn about the amazing Adobe InDesign Creative Cloud 2015 for PC. Let's talk a bit about the InDesign interface. What you can see here is the application bar, which is what's running across the top of your workspace and includes these menus, and the tool panel, which is the toolbar on the left-hand side of your screen. Let's focus on the tool panel. For today, we are going to take a closer look at five commonly used tools. Probably one of the most useful tools is the selection tool. This one here. You can see that it looks like an error. The function of the selection tool is to select and move text boxes, images, or shapes, really anything that is on your document layout. So I'm going to create a text box here. When I select the selection tool, now I can move this text box all around. And you can see that when the selection tool is selected, you can also measure it using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So if you need to just move it very small distances. The second tool that you want to know about is the text or type tool. This is a tool you'll probably use every time you create a document. You use it to create space for text and then select a font or change its size and color. You can also change whether the text is bolded or italicized, or whether it's centered or left justified. And you can even manipulate its horizontal or vertical proportions. The next tool that we'll explore is the Rectangle Frame tool. This is the Rectangle Frame tool here. This is your go-to tool for importing and managing images. Rectangle Frame tool, you basically create the space or container into which you will import your image. So you click on Rectangle Frame tool, and then you draw box. And then inside that rectangle frame, you're going to import your image. You can then manipulate the frame size and position on the page. And you can use it to shrink, enlarge, rotate, or flip your image or graphic. So you can see now that I have selected the rectangle frame tool, I have these tools at the top of my application bar. And I can use them to, say, flip or rotate my image. Another thing you can do with this tool is create colored boxes. Let's say you have your rectangle frame here, and you want to make a colored box. You can then use the panel over here. The fourth most commonly used tool is the hand tool. That's right over here. You can use the hand tool to move your document around. Let's see now I'm going to select the hand tool. Then I can grab my page or my document and move it all around. The hand tool works especially well in combination with the zoom tool. Here is the zoom tool, this is the magnifying glass. And as you might expect, the zoom tool allows you to easily zoom in or zoom out. I'm so I've selected the zoom tool, and I'm focusing in on this text box here. Once the zoom tool is selected, you can press Control minus to zoom out, or Control plus to zoom back in. And also, you can select this little box there at the top. You can change to a particular percentage of the page. So you could choose 25% and zoom way up. So now that you've informally introduced to the toolbar, practice on your own. Thanks for watching.